So, you guys want to learn how to create your own custom Spartans for whatever the purpose may be. Machinima, uh, mods, multiplayer, whatever it may be. Let's get into this tutorial on how you do so. Okay, so we're going to be opening up Foundation and Sapien. For me, I have a Firefight map loaded. This is just basically to show you guys that these these work. So, we're going to go ahead and go... We're going to go into Foundation. And when we get into Foundation, we're going to take a look at what we got here. So, let's open up the Characters folder... And we're going to see a bunch of stuff here with Spartan. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our folder here, our file folder, our file explorer. And you're going to go over to the HREK folder and go through tags, objects, and then into characters. So for me, you'll see I already have a few custom folders of stuff. Um, just ignore that for now. We're going to be doing this tutorial um, with some brand new stuff. So we're going to press on new folder and we're going to create a brand new folder in here. And I'm, for me, I'm going to be calling it video underscore tutorial. For you guys, you can name it whatever you want. If you want it custom Spartans, whatever you name the file folder, it does not matter. For me, it's just going to be video underscore tutorial. We're going to go ahead and go into the Spartans AI folder. And we're going to create a copy of the Spartans underscore generic dot, dot character. We're going to paste that into your created folder. Okay. Now, once you do that, we're going to go ahead and there's two ways of doing this. You can either take a Spartans... AI biped, or you can take a Spartans biped and model. For me, I'm going to be doing the Spartans underscore AI. We're going to be taking copies of the AI and, or the biped and the model. We're going to paste that into the video tutorial folder. So you should now have three folders in that folder, or three folders, three files in that folder. There should be a dot character file, a dot biped, and a dot model file. So now we're going to go back to foundation. We're going to basically refresh the folder by pressing the arrow there and pressing it again and you'll see that created folder will be there we're going to press on the drop down we're going to open the dot character we're going to open the dot model and the dot uh biped we are going to close up the render model for all of these and we are going to go into the character we're going to start it off with the character for me this is not going to be a hero character so we're going to untick hero character and we're going to untick auto resurrect so that basically just makes it so that it can't auto automatically resurrect itself. Basically now what we're going to do is we're going to press on the three dots of the unit. We're going to go back a folder. We're going to go into that created folder and we're going to select that dot biped as the unit for that dot character. We're going to go into the dot biped file and we're going to scroll all the way down until you see change colors. So there should be primary, secondary, tertiary, and quantiary. We're going to start off at primary. We're going to press this delete all button. We're going to go down one to secondary, delete all, tertiary, delete all, and quantiary, delete all. We're going to go to primary. We're going to add one. We're going to go to secondary, add one, tertiary, add one, and add one for quantiary. We're going to create the weight as one. So basically what the creating the weight as one means that this variant will have a 1% chance of spawning with this color. The thing that may change this is if you have multiple colors and the weight is one, it'll randomly pick between these colors. Keep in mind, the variant name needs to match the variant that we create in the dot model file. When we get into that, I'll show you guys what we mean, uh, what I mean with that. But back to the color permutations, if you change the weight to one and it's just one permutation of this color with that variant and that weight is set to one, it'll always spawn with that color if you add another one and you set the weight to one it'll be a 50 50 percent chance of that biped spawning with that color so that's kind of how that works so we're going to go ahead and save this and we're going to change the weight to one on that quantiary and tertiary we're going to save that we're going to go to the model we're going to press on the drop down of the render model we're going to zoom in a little bit and you'll see a spartan will appear in here now basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to create my spartan my custom Spartan that I do for my videos. So we're gonna scroll down and you'll see head. Now, if we press on player Nicole, you'll notice the head has changed to um, that helmet. Go to Sam and it is a different helmet. So that's actually my helmet. So we're gonna leave it checked as Sam. Make sure that check mark is there, by the way. Thigh piece, we're gonna put that as cat. So we're gonna scroll up and boom, I have my thigh piece. Right shoulder is player underscore will i believe so there we go so we have my shoulder there player underscore or flare underscore left shoulder i believe is player underscore skull so we got my shoulder piece there and now we're going to go up to head c so this if we zoom in this is that top piece on basically the visor piece i call it and we're going to go ahead and grab player underscore sam 
because that is mine. So if we actually untick player or uh, flare underscore head underscore B, you'll see that that piece right on the right, the left side of the helmet disappears. So if we untick this the, in this variant, it will not have that piece. If you want that piece, just tick it and select whatever piece you want for the side of the head there. For me, I'm going to untick it because I personally do not have it and I don't want it on that shoulder or that side of the head. In flare head A, I want it to be Carter because that's your left or your right piece on your helmet there. As you can see that, that this appears when I untick and tick it. Forearm is going to be Carter. Chest underscore B is going to be for me, I believe it's player underscore Adriana. And this piece is player underscore Jai. So it's actually Jai. So we'll do that. And now I have created basically my Spartan. So basically how this works is you are changing the flare pieces or the armor piece to match what your Spartan that you want to create is going to look like. Now you'll notice the colors are not here. That is because this is just the preview for the dot model file. In the actual Sapien, when we spawn this biped, you'll notice that the biped will actually have the armor pieces that you have created and it'll also have the colors corresponding to the biped we're going to scroll down and this button that says save selection is a new variant press that and type in the variant name for mine it's going to be icy advice we're going to press ok that render model is going to refresh we're going to un we're going to we're going to fold that up we're going to press Control s save that model file go back to the biped and in the variant name we're going to paste or type in icy advice because that is the variant name of that model you want to make sure that that matches the dot model by the way if it doesn't match that variant name in the dot model which is right here for me it will not correspond with the color so if we go ahead and go through all of these colors and just put my name by each of them and spawn myself in i should be a flat black spartan we're gonna go back into here we're gonna press edit types go to biped add and we're going to go back folders whatever folder you're in you just want to go back to that created folder that we that we made so for me it's video underscore tutorial for you it may be different so we have that spartans underscore ai biped in there now now we're going to go to the character tag we're going to add and we're going to add that dot character file but before we actually add it we're going to go back to the folder and in that dot character file we're going to change the character to underscore ic advice and we're going to press enter on that and that'll change to underscore icy advice. So now in here, you're gonna wanna X this off, refresh that folder and open that dot character file again. So now we're gonna import that dot character. We're gonna press done. We're gonna press okay. And we're gonna spawn this biped and you'll see that I am a flat black, but I will have my armor. So we're gonna change from the type and the properties palette of this biped to Spartans underscore AI. You'll see what the hell my Spartan isn't here. Well, scroll down and in variant name, press list. And you'll see that mine is not here. Now that is because the dot model is not being used. Let's go back to foundation. Let's go to the biped and scroll back up. And you see the dot model, that's not the same model file in the same folder. We gotta press the three dots, go back a folder, go to video tutorial and double click on that. Press control S, go back into here, press on list. Oops, press on the file there. Press on list and icy advice and there I am. So the way to basically check if your Spartan's permutations are on correctly, like you have your armor correctly set, as long as you did it how I did and created a new variant like that, your armor should be set correctly. The one way to check is if you just move the biped around and no armor pieces disappear and flicker, then you are good to go. That armor is dead set on you. You will not get it removed. So now you'll notice like, hey, what the heck? My Spartan is flat black. Also sidebar conversation looks badass. But let's go back into here and go to the model. Scroll down. And now we're going to get into color editing. So we're going to press on the color lower bound and upper bound for Quanchieri. And we're going to change this to this blue. So this is for the visor color. That is what Quanchieri controls is the visor color. Tertiary colors are basically the glow of the visor. We're going to leave that as black. And secondary, we're going to change this to white. Actually, excuse me, mine is actually blue. So I'm going to select from my created uh, TXT file. And we're going to go ahead and select the blue color. Sidebar as well. These colors I have right here are directly from the game. So it's the exact colors from in-game. The way you get them colors is you actually have to go into the globals.globals file. And you'll find that... Oh, what the heck? You'll find that up in tags, globals, and globals.globals. That is where these colors are at. You can locate them 
via there. If you guys want my color files for my visor, the team colors, so that'd be red team, blue team, green team, etc. And actual Spartan colors, let me know in the comments. I can upload it to Google Drive and give you guys those files for you. So let's go to primary and let's change this to just white. Change this to flat white. We're going to press Control S, save, and when we go back into Sapien, boom, your custom Spartan is here. So look at that. Our Spartan has arrived. Now, you may be wondering, how do I get multiple Spartans as different bipeds and variants in here? Basically, what you're going to do is just do the exact setup that I did before, not creating new files. You only have to create a new dot character file if you want an AI for this. Basically, you would just add a new one and change the variant name to whatever variant you would want. For me, I'm going to get rid of it. But basically, you'll just add on to it and make sure the variant name matches the dot model variant. So for me, it's icy advice for you. It may vary if yours is like Red Boy or something like that. Make sure it matches that variant, that armor variant to the colors. It has to basically connect via variant names and boom, you will have your custom Spartan in there in no time. Now, you guys want to know how to get the character in here. Well, we have the dot biped. Let's go ahead and get into the characters here. We're going to undo the units there. We're going to create a brand new squad. Squads to make a new cell. Give that diff count to 1, and press the drop down, get a character, press on that new element of that character. Go to Icy Advice. For you, it may vary what the name is. We're going to do a Magnum for now, and we're going to put his spawn point right here. And we're going to place him. You'll notice it's just a random Spartan. It's not right. So the reason being is we don't have the variant set in here. So we're actually going to go ahead and delete that, that character, and we're going to go to the spawn point, okay? We're going to create a new instance of it, and we are going to press on that. We're going to change the character type to Spartan underscore IC Advice. And the actor variant name, you want to change it to IC Advice, whatever variant you wanted in there. So now if we spawn it, you'll see it's my AI, and that's me. If we spawn it again, you'll see it's again me. So yeah, if you actually want to get the variant to not uh, to spawn all the time and you don't have to set it in the spawn points via the actor variant name, you can actually go into foundation and create a new variant here with the variant name that corresponds from the model and the biped. And that'll all connect to this character file. And if you spawn him, boom, your Spartan will be here. If we go to the spawn points there and look in the actor variant name, it's nothing's there and it's still my Spartan. So that's how that works. So guys, that is how you create your own custom Spartan in Halo Reach Sapien slash Foundation. If this tutorial helped you out at all, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. My name is Icy Advice, and I'm signing out. Peace.